What's up guys this is Rani welcome back to our channel total technology this is tutorial 33 and today's topic will be uh, again on the enum methods but in this tutorial we'll be going to talk about uh, how to use enum methods with multiple arguments so till now whatever we have seen we are going to use only one argument that is self but in this tutorial we'll be going to uh, like see uh, how you can use enum methods with multiple arguments maybe we'll be going to talk about only one arguments uh, it means one extra argument self and something else so we'll see how to do that so again uh, no more uh, like nothing to uh, like discuss or no more uh, theoretical part uh, included in this tutorial it will be purely on hands-on on coding driven approach so let me open my id first so it will be uh, again our famous example of enum exam and pass it will be i32 okay and then fail with i32 and here we will be going to have one main function i will create an instance of this uh, enum so it will be exam underscore one and it will be then exam pass 70 okay like this so now what will happen we'll try to uh, like uh, uh, define one uh, enum method using this enum keyword uh, sorry impl keyword okay and then uh, check so what what we were planning trying to do so there will be some sort of like a threshold value for the score so let uh, check underscore score uh, equals to i32 equals to like 50 okay so we'll check whether uh, this uh, uh, this value is uh, like um, um, value is actually eligible this value is actually eligible for qualify or not so the qualify criteria is that the value should be greater than this 50 okay so we'll give this name as check score okay something like that uh, no uh, check marks okay and we'll be going to use self and another variable called cs and that will be also i32 and this is going to return bull okay bull means true or false like this so what will happen now so uh, uh, if uh, let's check x is going to be uh, exam one dot check marks okay and we'll be going to use let's say here we'll be going to use with uh, check underscore score okay like this so if if it is uh, going to be true then if x means true then we'll print uh, mm, score is eligible for enrollment something like that some fictitious message and if it is not uh, what it is saying unnecessary parenthesis in mean if condition okay so like this then we maybe like else we'll see print ln not eligible okay so something like this we'll do okay uh, so what i'll do now uh, we'll do this thing it is going to return this thing so now this is going to be bull okay so what will happen now we'll see so uh, this is going to be uh, something interesting so what we are going to do here here so we'll check now if let an ampersand uh, exam equals to equals to pass and some value okay equals to self means if we are calling this function with this uh, pass uh, enum as a variant then what will happen okay so it will return val value greater than 
the cs okay so if value is greater than cs it will be automatically return true or else it is going to return false okay so in else condition let's print the panic thing we already know this thing panic uh, call on exam pass failed call to failed on so like this and here it will be question mark and we'll write self and just because we're going to use this thing we have to put here those debug and derive thing so it will be derive and inside that we'll put debug okay so what happened here i i believe the spelling is not correct so x is this so if x means uh, it is saying uh, unnecessarily parenthesis condition note that one okay fine so let's check this thing so what is happening over here let me just retreat this thing so we created this uh, in we defined this enum over here after that we are uh, creating an instance of this enum and we have this uh, arbitrary um, score and after that we are calling this uh, function or uh, calling this method with this uh, uh, thing okay uh, this 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 thing check checks code and after that what is happening over here if we are going to call this method with this pass variant and if the value is greater than cs which is uh, 50 actually then uh, it will be written here as true and if it is true it is going to print that score is eligible or else it is going to print not eligible so let me save this thing and let's run this thing okay uh, i think some error is there help to remove this parenthesis it was uh, complaining but i am not sure why this is complaining so maybe if x let's run this thing and what is happen over here okay so actually i did a mistake it should be let x and after that i have to put this thing okay so uh, unnecessarily parenthesis around if condition but let me check this thing okay it is working so c score is eligible for enrollment so guys you can it is you can ignore this thing but i actually forgot to put this let for defining the variable sometimes i do this mistake and it happens actually so let me uh, tell you something if i put here uh, let's say 40 so now what is going to happen so it is it will print that it is not eligible okay so i save this thing I run this thing see it is not eligible so why this is happening so i call this method using with this uh, variant value uh, variant name pass and value 40 so it is uh, it is actually written is going uh, from here to here and here actually it is getting uh, compared with this value which is the 50 and if you compare uh, 40 with 50 it is definitely going to return false so if it is false the condition will come here and it is it will print not eligible so that is the thing so next thing we'll try to call this thing with false uh, fail okay so that time we'll get this thing okay so see i got this thing the uh, call to exam failed on fail in 40 like this thing like many is panicked over here so this is very simple thing guys so what actually we did here we are actually uh, creating one uh, we are defining one enum after that we are creating an instance of that enum we are uh, creating uh, uh, one like enum method and that method actually contains more than one argument so one of the argument is actually we are getting from this uh, uh, main function and after that we are comparing this value with this thing and depending on the condition uh, like if it is uh, greater than this it will going to return true if it is not greater than this thing it is going to return false and if it is true it will be coming here and if it is false it is coming here depending on that we will get our answer so guys if you can imagine like uh, this sort of things are going to be definitely help you when you are going to develop some sort of application or some uh, machine related application uh, some vending machine or where you want to do some sort of like or ticket vending machines for example your ticket uh, value is five and someone is entering 
coin uh, with uh, denomination 4 and the value is 5 so it, it will immediately give you some sort of that you are not eligible to buy this uh, ticket something some sort of similar so just because we are going to talk about system programming so for or uh, device programming so from that point of view actually i'm saying this thing okay so if you now uh, I, I believe all of you now are uh, able to understand why i'm just going uh, this much slowly and why this sort of things are going to help you to uh, create our uh, like uh, foundation for uh, becoming a uh, like uh, efficient and uh, very good uh, programmer in uh, rust so if you're not clear about your uh, like if you're not clear about the basic or uh, fundamental things about rust then actually you'll not be able to become good programmer so if you want to become good programmer you have to clear all your doubts all your concepts you have to do lots of coding practice then only you will uh, you'll be able to master all those things or else definitely will start gradually forgetting this thing so practice is the main key so input you are watching my videos or somewhere else or something i don't care but the thing is that whatever you are watching or whatever you are doing you have to write the course that is called output so you have to have like output uh, like uh, volume of output is should be larger than your uh, like input then only you'll be able to achieve something if you're not practicing or, or not, not writing your code it is not going to help you so i believe i have uh, enough of talking on this video so guys so this that, that is it uh, that is actually done for this uh, today's class and from tomorrow or the next tutorial onwards we'll be going to talk about the match operator so till now only uh, talk about uh, the there will be one operator very powerful operator that time you don't need to use all those things but in this next video onwards i'll be going to talk about that match operator how to how to match the patterns and based on that how to how to return some values okay so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video but before i uh, close this tutorial please subscribe to our channel if someone is watching our videos for the first time guys please subscribe to our channel hit the like button hit the bell icon so you should not miss any notification for the next time and if you have any suggestion feedback complaint you can write us uh, via our video comment description box okay and thank you very much for all the udemy students for purchasing this course and same thing applicable for all of you if you guys are having any question any doubt or need any clarification please feel free to write me via udemy instructor box i'll always available there to answer all of your queries so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day